Okay, so here, what we're going to do next is add a limb to our character. We're going to add an arm to our character. So all I'm going to do now is position the design window so that I can go ahead and uh, drop in. Uh, notice I've added a few layers here to uh, the design. Now I'm going to start working on the lower arm area. All right, so and what I'm going to do here now is uh, simply start off by adding a shape. Right, once again, a very simple shape, which will uh, eventually become the lower arm of our character. And by that, I mean that you know you can see, given the torso rotation in this in this uh, character, that I want to position the arm in a layer underneath the torso, so to speak. So toward the end of this clip, uh, you're going to see how we can uh, try to achieve a seamless blend right, between the um, arm part and the torso. So right now all I'm doing is sculpting the basic shape of the arm. I'm just roughing it out for the moment so that I get a sense of you know, what I want it to uh, look like. Uh, I'm going to apply the P tool right, to um, uh, achieve the peaked effect uh, for some of these curves and you'll notice how I'm extending some lines uh, into the shape right to define uh, once again some uh, musculature on the uh, anatomy of our hero right and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create shapes uh, adding these lines um, to the object all right, so now I can go ahead and select all my points, and translate them so that I can join the arm to the torso. Now that's the trick here, right? Because what we want is a, a seamless blend, right? We want an effect where our uh, rendered image right, will show as a, a unified whole here, but what's actually happening here under the scenes is we're, uh, we have separate you know, reusable parts that we are uh, combining to make the character. Alright, so here what you're going to see is to create a seamless join, uh, I'm just going to go in, add a few points uh, on the torso layer, right, which gives me enough detail that I can translate the points, move them around, and create these um, continuous uh, lines at here at the uh, seam. All right. So here all I'm doing is tweaking the positions of these points uh, to get a decent enough uh, fit for the initial pose. All right. So now uh, I'm going to apply the uh, peak tool and next you're going to see me use um, the hide edge tool. Right. So once you have a, a complete shape. You can take uh, any two points and you can hide the outline associated with those points using the hide edge tool. Right, So that's what I'm hitting now, the hide edge, and you'll see that I can now uh, hide that, that line in the shoulder region uh, on the torso shape. Right, And so now I have a nice uh, seamless join for the limbs. So you can add any limbs to the torso in this way.